Hey there, so in this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how you can place limit orders on Newton, which is something that we've all been waiting for, and they finally rolled it out. But before I do though, I'm trying to hit 25,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If you like the content and want to help support the channel, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Having said that though, let's get started. So the limit orders are only available on a computer at the moment. This means that the feature is not yet available in their app, but I'm sure they'll be rolling that out soon. Now, before I continue to show you how to place limit orders, I'm first going to explain what the purpose of limit orders are. For buy limit orders, you're essentially saying that if the price of the coin goes to a certain price below market value, then I want to buy X amount at that price. Conversely, for limit sell orders, you're essentially saying that if the price of the coin goes to a certain price above market value, then I want to sell X amount at that price. This means that you don't have to constantly stare at the price to then put in a market order when the coin actually does hit your desired price. Limit orders allow for setting and forgetting. So now that we understand what the purpose of limit orders are, I'm going to show you how to place both buy and sell limit orders. So right now I'm logged into my Newton account and what I'll want to do is click on the coin that I'm interested in placing the limit order on. So for example, if I'm interested in placing a limit order for Stellar, I'm going to click on all coins over here and then I'm going to click on Stellar. So I'm going to look for it and it's right over here. So I'll click on that and when I do, it'll bring us to this page that looks like this. And over here on the side is where I can actually create the orders. So to create a limit buy order, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enter the price in Canadian dollars that I'd like to purchase the XLM at. So let's just say I'm interested in buying it at 30 cents. So what I'm going to do is just put in 0.3, so that is 30 cents. Now what I'm going to do is either enter the number of coins I'd like to purchase or an amount in Canadian dollars that I'd like to purchase. So over here is the number of coins and over here is the dollar figure. By entering a number in one box, it'll automatically change the other box. For example, if I'm interested in purchasing 100 XLM, I'm going to type in 100 and as you can see, the number automatically changes on the other side and it will cost me $30.18. On the flip side though, let's just say I'm interested in buying $30 worth of XLM. So if I just type in 30, as you can see, this part here will automatically change as well. When I entered the numbers, you may have noticed that the numbers don't exactly add up. This is because they've included the fee in the order. So I'm going to, let's just say, place an order over here for 100 XLM and you can see that it is 3018 and I'm going to click on confirm buy order because I am happy with this when I click it you can now see that the order is over here and what this basically means is that if the price of XLM goes to 30 cents my order should get filled now let's take a look at how we would place a sell limit order. We first want to go over here and then click on the sell tab. After, we would then enter the price we'd like to sell the XLM for. For example, if I'm interested in selling my XLM at 40 cents, I'm going to put in the four over here. So that's 40 cents. Then, just like before, I'll either enter the number of coins I'd like to sell or the dollar figure of the coins I'd like to sell. Just like before, when I enter the number over here, it'll adjust the other box. Example, if I want to sell my 100 XLM, this is what I'll get. Or conversely, if I want to sell $30 worth of XLM, that's what it would be. Either way, if you put in one number here or here, it will automatically adjust. Same thing with the fees. They're baked into the price when you place the order. This is for both the sell and buy limit orders. Once you're happy with your order, you're going to click on confirm sell order. For myself, let's just say I would like the 100 and I would like to sell it at 40 cents and then I'm going to click on confirm sell order. When I do, you can pretty much see 
that my order has been placed over here and it's an open order. And what this means is that if the price of XLM goes to 40 cents Canadian, then my order should get filled and I should have sold my XLM for 40 cents and I will sell a hundred of them. So there you have it. That's how you can place both a buy and sell limit order on Newton. These orders are good until they're filled. However, if you'd like to cancel your orders that you've placed, you can just click on the cancel button and make sure that you confirm them. So yes, cancel and yes. And that's pretty much it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video or found it educational. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below as I do check and respond. If you think that there's someone who gets some value out of this video, please share with them. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.